Whether you're presenting your performance during a live call or sending out reports to stakeholders via email or Slack, our reports shareable link functionality will make this process easier than ever. You'll be able to share reports with stakeholders so that they can view them on demand without needing to download a PDF, and you'll also be able to present your reports in full screen view. So in the app, there's actually a couple of ways that you can go ahead and generate a link for your report. You can either do it from the report designer by set, selecting send to email and then the shareable link option, or you can navigate back to reports and hover over the report and press share. In this pop-up, you'll see that the public link has been disabled by default, which means that you do have the option to copy an internal link and send it to other users that you have added to your Databox account. But by enabling a public link, anyone with the link will be able to access, view, and interact with the report. So we can go ahead and just enable that one for the purpose of this video. Under additional settings, you'll see that there are a few ways that we can protect the link of the report. We can either do that by limiting it to specific IP addresses or protecting it with a password. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just leave that as is. So to share this report, we can go ahead and then just copy the link. And if we were to send it to stakeholders, we could paste this link either on an email or a Slack thread. But if we wanted to go ahead and present this report during a live call, we could actually open a new browser tab and paste this link there. So let's do that. So when you go and access the link of the report, this is what it will look like. You'll be able to click through the different slide types, interact with the charts and data in the report. You'll also be able to change the date range. And obviously you can expand any notes that have been added to specific slides. If we then wanted to go ahead and present this report during a live call, we do have the option to hide the left panel and the notes panel. So if we click this arrow here, for example, we can hide the left panel and then get the slide in a full screen view during our presentation. So let's say now we've finished explaining the slide and we wanna go ahead and change to the next one. We can do that easily by just expanding the left panel and clicking through it to the next slide and then hiding it again. During our presentation, we can also choose to bring out any notes that we made on this slide to make sure that we mention important details. And then once we're done, we can then hide it again.